matrix multiplication in Excel is very, very useful, but it is a little bit tricky. So I'm going to run you through it. We have a matrix here, two by two, and I have another matrix here, two by two. If I want to multiply these two together, my answer is also going to be a two by two. All right, I'm going to put my answer here. And so the first weird thing about matrix multiplication in Excel is you need to highlight all of the cells your answer is going to go into. Normally when you type a formula in, you just choose one cell. But here, you have to choose all four. All right, and now I start typing in my formula. The formula is equals M mult matrix multiplication, M mult. Open the bracket and then read the instructions. Array one, that means the first matrix, comma, array two, the second matrix. All right, and close the bracket. Now the other weird thing here is that you should get in the habit of not just pressing enter, but pressing control plus shift plus enter. That's because this is an array formula. Sometimes if you just press enter, that won't work. So congratulations, we have done our first matrix multiplication. Now I'm going to show you next how to square a matrix. I have a three by three matrix and I've just labeled it ABC, ABC, and I'm just going to call it the matrix T. All these letters are not useful apart from the fact that I'm just labeling it like that. All right, now what I want down here is a matrix T squared. So I'm just going to write that this is going to be my matrix T squared. I can center that like I've centered all the other stuff. Okay, so how am I going to do that? Well, if I square a three by three matrix, I'm, my answer is going to be a three by three matrix. So I need to highlight the number of cells that my answer is going to go into. This is where my answer is. Actually, I'm going to put my answer there. All right, after that, equals M mult. There's no power matrix multiplication function, so we have to do a matrix multiplication to square matrix. Okay, it's going to be this matrix, comma, this matrix. Close that bracket. And I've pressed enter there. I probably shouldn't. I probably should have pressed control shift enter, but it seems to have worked. So let's run with it. I've got T, I've got T squared. What if I wanted T to the power of three? Okay, there's no power button so we have to do it over and over and over again so the way that i can do it i'm just going to label it up here t to the power of three this is where i want my solution to go equals m mult and we're going to have to do t squared times t, t squared times t Enter or control shift enter depending on how your Excel feels. Um, all right, that is T cubed. Now, what if I wanted to do T to the four? Again, I could follow that same process. I could do T cubed, multiply it by T, and I would get T to the four. So I'm going to very, very quickly do T to the four using that exact same process equals M mult t cubed times t to the power of 1. That's going to be t to the power of 4. And what did I do wrong? I forgot to highlight that 3 by 3 section. So highlight the 3 by 3 section equals m mult t cubed. You can see it's a little bit finicky. Sometimes you can make little mistakes. You don't want to. All right, that is t to the power of 4. I can do t to the power of 5, t to the power of 6, t to the power of 7. I can actually do this a little bit faster. I'm going to use something called an absolute cell reference to do this faster. What I'm going to do is still the same thing that I did before. So I'm going to do equals m mult. This one, choose the same thing again. But when I do the next one, I'm going to press function f4. You can achieve the same thing if you can't remember function F4 by just putting dollar signs before the C, before the 3, before the E, and before the 5, before all of that second array stuff. That creates what's called an absolute cell reference. Now, what that does, watch what happens next. If I do this, copy the whole thing, paste down here. 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 I get t to the 2, t to the 3, t to the 4, t to the 5, and t to the 6. How am I doing that? Let's look at what the formulas look like. 
This one was the one I typed, C3, E5, and then the dollar signs. Let's go down to the next one. You can see that C7 and E9, when I copied down, the three and five became seven and nine because I moved down. So now C7 to E9 is this matrix right here. So it's multiplying this matrix by, but look, the dollar signs kept this matrix the same. If I move down to here, you can see those numbers changed. C11 and 13 changed, but C3 and E5 stayed there. So now I'm taking this one, T cubed, and multiplying it by T to get T to the 4. And it's the same here, and it's the same here. So I can drag that, I can copy as many of these as I want, and I'm going to get higher and higher and higher powers. There is a different way to make this happen. Uh, you won't get every single power, but you can speed through these powers faster. Same deal again, starting with T. I'm going to highlight this, M mult, and I'm going to multiply this matrix by itself. Not going to bother with dollar signs this time. All right, close the bracket. All right, that one. Now, I'm not going to do T to the 3. I'm going to jump straight to T to the 4. And in fact, I'm going to be able to copy this and copy it straight down here. Because I didn't bother with any dollar signs, look what happens. I typed in C3E5, C3E5. When I copy this down, the numbers change to 7 and 9, which means that we're multiplying T squared by itself, which means that T squared times T squared is T to the 4 which means that we can move really fast now because my next one is going to be t to the 8. Because if I copy this down here, put it there, I'm raising t to the, I'm multiplying t to the 4 times t to the 4, which is t to the 8. That's t to the 8. This is t to the 16. This is t to the 32. This is t to the 64. This is t to the 128. And so you can see that very, very quickly, I can increase these powers. What if I didn't want t to the 128? What if I wanted t to the 129? Well, this is t to the 128. So if I wanted t to the 129, um, just put that down one further, I could just write equals m mult and then multiply t to the 128 by t to the 1 and that would be t to the 129. Okay, lots going on there. Make sure that you play along now. Make sure that you can make all of this stuff happen on your own version of Excel. But that's matrix multiplication and matrix powers.